Manny Pacquiao is a living legend. Over a long and exciting career, Pacquiao has thrilled and inspired countless fans with his unique, aggressive style of boxing. Along the way, he's become the only boxer in history to earn a championship belt in eight different weight classes. Pacquiao's journey as a professional fighter began at the age of 16, when he stowed himself away on board a rickety ship, looking to land his first fight. Having grown up in extreme poverty, Pacquiao's mother could no longer afford to feed him, and he was intent on making his way in the world as a boxer. Pacquiao soon grew a reputation as a ferocious junior flyweight, who dominated his opponents with sheer aggression and willpower. Despite his blazing fast speed and incredible left hand, Pacquiao's lack of experience regularly landed him in compromising positions. It was in these instances that his true nature showed itself. Like a wounded animal, Pacquiao was, and is to this day, most dangerous when in serious trouble. Where many would have faded or wilted under pressure, Pacquiao has always fought fire with fire. But thankfully, Pacquiao has continued to learn and evolve as a boxer cultivating one of the greatest fight IQs in combat sports. Here's a quick but poignant example of Pacquiao's intellect. Here, Pacquiao's opponent keeps him at arm's length by controlling his head. This may seem a small point, but entire fights have been won or lost by this tactic. Pacquiao assessed the situation and created a solution in seconds. Identifying the weakness in his strategy, Pacquiao threw a hard lead hook at his competitor's exposed ribs. He would go on to finish the fight, not 10 seconds later. This is the kind of split-second decision-making under intense pressure that sets high-level fighters apart. A huge reason behind Pacquiao's impressive skill set is his trainer, the legendary Freddie Roach, who helped foster and supplement Pacquiao's aggressive style, rather than try to stifle his natural instincts. When most trainers had rejected Pacquiao as an unskilled brawler, Roach noticed a willingness to learn and a keen mind for strategy. As Pacquiao progressed, Roach was astonished to find that he was finding new, creative ways to use the skills he'd been taught. And Roach, in turn, would build upon and add to Pacquiao's creative alterations, rather than insist on sticking to a rigid, traditional style. The result is a system built equally on intelligence and aggression, and one that should be studied meticulously by all martial artists, but Southpaws especially. So let's break down Pacquiao's style, looking at his unique arsenal of punches, combinations, head movement, and footwork. Pacquiao is a high volume pressure fighter. His punching output alone can overwhelm his opponents, resulting in death by a thousand cuts. To land these punches at all, Pacquiao first needed to find ways to close distance. This became especially important as he moved up into higher weight classes, fighting opponents far taller with huge reach advantages. For a southpaw like Pacquiao, closing the gap is even trickier. In an open stance, with one fighter's left foot forward and the other's right foot forward, the lead hand and foot of each fighter tend to get in each other's way. Navigating around them is an art form all of its own. Because of this, many southpaws will ignore their jab and instead try to stifle or work around their opponent's lead hand so that they can land rear hand power shots. But, an aggressive fighter like Pacquiao is loath to give up half of his arsenal. And one of Roach's major aspirations for Pacquiao was to give him a lead hand on par with his terrifying left hand. And so, Pacquiao's right hand now lands consistently and has become a major factor in his many, many victories. To achieve this, Pacquiao has a variety of techniques and setups. One of them is to throw his jabs and hooks in a vertical arch angling over his opponent's lead shoulder. This is particularly effective as a counter to his opponent's jab, taking advantage of the temporary opening in their guard. Yet another strategy is to parry and then counter off of the same hand. Yet one more way is to feint low before going high. Another is to throw with his elbow first, like a back fist. His elbow acts like a shield, stifling his opponent's lead hand as he throws his punch. 
This works especially well when Pacquiao doubles up on his jab, which allows him to safely cover enough distance to land his cross. A great oddity of Pacquiao's is that he regularly throws his jab with his fist vertical, neglecting to rotate his shoulder. An advantage to this is that it helps him to pry apart his opponent's guard, wedging an opening for follow-up punches. Pacquiao supplements and increases the effectiveness of all of these variations by stepping left, placing his lead foot on the inside of his opponents. Some more informed viewers may be surprised by this, as much has been made about securing the outside foot position in an open stance. But this is missing half the picture and eliminating half the possibilities. Pacquiao is an expert at dominating exchanges in both foot positions. By placing his foot on the inside of his opponents, Pacquiao shortens the distance of his jab and aligns his lead hand down the center line. A common adage in boxing is that a fighter who has their rear foot on the outside holds the advantage, but this is largely dependent on upper body position, foot angles, and distance. From this position, Pacquiao's jab will beat an opponent's cross. His lead shoulder and elbow can shield him from lead hand attack, and he can easily duck under smother or counter rear hand attacks. Roach actually considers moving inside to be more defensive in nature. But what about Pacquiao's own rear hand? Shouldn't his cross and rear hook be rendered ineffective? Usually yes, but Pacquiao's athleticism allows him to pivot off of his lead foot to an utterly ridiculous extent. His extreme mobility lets him throw powerful rear hand attacks in the same way that a martial artist spins to throw a roundhouse kick. The textbook defensive footwork in boxing is to pivot away. Pacquiao's ability to follow his opponents as they pivot and attack with his power hand at the same time makes him one of the most fearsome pressure fighters around. If his opponent squares up and presses forward, even better. In this scenario, Pacquiao is in an ideal position, deep enough inside to perfectly line his left hand. Now let's take a look at the other half of the story and see how Pacquiao dominates on the outside and how he's turned his leading cross into one of the most iconic and recognized moves in boxing. Disguising his intention with in and out pendulum steps, Pacquiao will load his weight forward and lunge in deep to the outside, even shuffling into his cross to cover more distance. Actually, Pacquiao's center of balance is so far past his base that at times his shuffle will turn into a skip. The question is, how to keep safe when throwing such a blatant attack? A common saying in martial arts is that when you're not moving your feet, you should be moving your head. So Pacquiao employs rhythmic side-to-side -side head movement, not only as a way to stay safe, but also as a way to disguise his entry. Pacquiao conditions his opponents to expect this preparatory motion dulling their reflexes and easing the initiation of his attack. Pacquiao will set up a predictable tempo intentionally, hoping to draw his opponent's jab. He'll then dip even further outside and step in deeper to counter. And yes, Pacquiao will dip the other way to set up his jab. With Pacquiao, every defensive action is simultaneously a threat. This technique works well as a single attack, with Pacquiao using low-level head movement to exit. However, as the fight progresses, Pacquiao ups the pressure, pressing his opponent and overwhelming them with rapid-fire combinations. It is from the outside cross that Pacquiao throws his most devastating sequence. He'll shift forward while striking with the opposite hand, each step synced up with a punch. When Pacquiao performs his double shift, it's hard not to notice a striking similarity to the notoriously aggressive heavyweight champion, Jack Dempsey. Ideally, Pacquiao's rear foot pins his opponent as he throws his cross, preventing him from pivoting out to safety. If Pacquiao's competitor tries to duck under, an uppercut flows nicely into the sequence as well. As always, Pacquiao will exit off angle. Occasionally, he'll take the traditional way out and move outside. But Pacquiao is most devastating when he exits inside and throws a jarring, raking hook to leave at a defensive angle.
For Pacquiao, getting deep into his opponent's space is far more important than foot position. It's this versatility, combined with Pacquiao's power, mobility, and work rate, that have left the majority of his opponents confused and bewildered. Many are left with little option but to shell up and try to endure. But as mentioned before, Pacquiao is highly proficient at breaking through guards and putting together rapid fire combinations. Some hardier competitors do go for broke, fighting back and welcoming exchanges as a way to perhaps turn the fight around. This can be a very viable strategy as many pressure fighters are terrible fighting off the back foot. But Pacquiao isn't one of those. Some of his most spectacular KOs occurred while he was under intense fire. This is in part due to the fact that Pacquiao is adept at rebounding off of his back foot, turning a retreat into a quick forward advance, and catching his opponent as he charges full speed into a punch. A more subtle tactic is to lull his opponent to follow him, then suddenly stop short and leap forward into an attack. It's incredible to watch Pacquiao pull this off as a scrawny teenager, and to think how far he's come since. Through hard work, innovation, and pure talent, Pacquiao has retained his place near the top for an unprecedented period of time. One day, age will catch up to him, as it does to every man. He may go out in one last triumphant display of brilliant savagery, or he may get put on notice that his reflexes are not what they once were through a brutal defeat to a low-level competitor. But either way, Pacquiao has proven himself one of the greatest fighters to ever live and has earned his place as a living legend and a true hero in the brutal and beautiful art of boxing.